Hi everybody, it's Christy again. I am back um, for an everyday eye tutorial today. I've had a lot of requests from you guys um, to show you something that's quick and easy and something that you can do every day just to um, bring out your eyes a little more. So I'm gonna get into that real fast. Pardon the crazy madness of the hair. I uh, was playing with my grandchildren and that's more important. Okay, so. What I'm going to be using today is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. It's one of my absolute favorites. Looks like this as the plastic goes flying out of it. Um, if you hear little people in the background, it's my grandchildren, so pay no attention. Anyway, um, so the first color I'm going to go in with really quick is Raw Sienna, which is this one here on the end. Big fluffy brush. I do already have um, my eyes primed. I used the Boing Concealer and then a translucent face powder. Tap in your color, always tap off your excess. And I have my mirror here, so if I'm looking off to the side, I'm gonna try to do this as best I can. But right here in the crease of the eye, nice big fluffy brush. You're just following the contour of the eye. If you ever dip into the color always tap it off again you can always add more you can't take away I like to use something um, a little warm one to two shades deeper than my skin tone in the crease um, this gives the eye definition and shape I have to bring my color up a little higher than most because I do have more of an, a hooded eye shape though as well um, but you do want to use something nice and big and fluffy like this which will keep the the um, eyeshadow nice and soft focus so right here you can do windshield wiper motions small circles easy peasy next side it's best to do this with your um, eyes open then you can see where your colors placed if you're doing it with your eyes closed it's kind of hard to tell especially if you have more of a hooded eye shape like myself it's hard to tell whether your um, eyeshadows up high enough and I do tend to go back and forth back and forth just between the eyes to be able to tell whether I'm blending everything pretty evenly I find it always be best to with any kind of makeup look if you're um, if you're up close in your mirror quite a bit, kind of sit back for a second when you're done with a step and kind of see if that's, um, if the look is balanced. So simple and quick definition in the crease. You do want to only use colors with no shimmer, fully matte in the crease because that's going to help absorb light and that's what brings the contours of your eyes out. If you use something shimmery right here, it will make your eyes look kind of um, puffy. Shimmer should only be used on the lid or in the inner corner, or you can use a touch of it up here on the brow bone if you so wish. I don't do that a whole lot myself, but I do like um, a little touch of shimmer there every now and again. Um, next thing I'm going to use on my lid is my Shadow Sense. I have become quite obsessed with this. This is the color Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. It's a cream to powder formula, and I find the easiest way to use this, I just Put a little on my finger, slap it right on the lid, kind of start in the center, and then blend it out all over the lid, up to the crease but not going above. I wore one of these um, the other day out in the heat when we were going to go to the pool. I actually wore two of them. Um, I wore more of a taupey brown color in the crease and then this on the lid and I also wore this as a um, highlight cheekbone highlight that stuff did not come off all day long I was quite impressed now you can either use a cream to powder um, shadow like this either as a base or you can just leave it if you're doing something super fast you can just leave it like this it does have a nice amount of shimmer um, if you're somebody like me who likes to have extra shimmer on the lid just to kind of make it not only pop but it also helps balance out my eye shape because I have way more um, space to work with up here than I do on my lid so I like to make my lid look a little bigger with shimmer balances out my eye shape a little more you can take 
um, a shimmery color and go over the top of it and that will make that even more um, pronounced, even more shimmery. The one I like the best in this is this pale gold color here. It's called Primavera, again, with my fingers. Shimmer colors tend to work best on either a flat brush or your fingers. Um, and another quick tip is if you're ever using a shimmer color and it's not quite shimmery enough for you, if you put the color on your brush and then wet it with a setting spray or eye drops or anything like that, it will bring the, the shimmer out and the color more. Okay, done there. Then you can, um, you can either leave it there or, epic fail on my part, I didn't grab this eyeshadow out. Um, I'm somebody, because of my eyes being a little closer together and because of my hooded eye shape, I do like to put a little extra definition on the outer part of my crease. So I'm going to take one of these little Maybelline single shadows. It's the, it's the only matte brown. I can't read the name off the bottom of it right now with my bad eyes. Dab a little color, tap off your excess, and then I just take that on this outer portion of the lid and just in this outer portion of the crease. This is called your outer V. And you can either, you wanna use a smaller brush than what you originally used, so it kinda of tucks into that area. Or if you have an even smaller brush, like a pencil brush, where is my pencil brush? or something you know, small like this, you can place the color with something like this and then blend it out with a bigger brush. That works well too. Oh, here's my pencil brush, pencil brush. And this just kind of tends to give my eye a little more definition and color. But like I said, you know, you can very easily just slap on that one color and matte or shimmer or anything on your lid and be good to go. But I do think if you wear a lid color to blend it out up into the crease is gonna make it, you want it to kind of look like it blends out into nothing into your skin tone. So you don't want it to be just something on your lid and then there's nothing above it. With my personal taste anyway. So I'm gonna take that original color now that I put something darker down, I just have to blend out the edges of that. So I'm going back into that raw sienna and just barely going over the tops of where that first color was. And blending that out. So hard for me to put eye makeup on with face makeup already on because I never do it that way. I always do my eye makeup first. That way if I have any eyeshadow fallout or cleanup or anything like that, I can fix it afterwards and just use a makeup wipe and call it a day. I also do that when I do makeup on any of my clients. I always go in and do eyes first. And then the last little step is the brow bone. So I'm gonna take that pencil brush with this lightest color called Tempura and just barely touch that right underneath from the arch of the brow out. Don't want it to take it too far in, but this really helps lift the eye, makes those eyebrow arches stand out. And then I go back with a clean brush, clean fluffy brush and just blend between the two of them. Sorry, I can feel my eye going googly. Now you can either, I'm just gonna wipe that pencil brush off. You can either leave it at that and just put on mascara, throw on a thin um, thing of liner. You can use a dark shadow as liner with like a small um, angled brush or eyeliner brush, whatever you want to use. Um, I personally think for daytime, if you take like a nice waterproof pencil and a softer color, put that on your lash line, just right down at the base of your lashes and then use something to smudge it out with either like a pencil brush like this. You can use a Q-tip, you can use your finger, you can use a little angled brush, whatever you want to use. Um, I myself tend to look 
like my eyes are smaller if I don't put a little something on the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go back into that Maybelline Brown with that same pencil brush. And I'm just gonna connect the outer corner of my eye with my under eye. This also helps make your lashes have a little more definition to them as well. I tend to like it only on the outer portion of the eye. I think it's a little softer that way. And if I put bring mine in too far, it uh, closes my eye shape off more. Really only do that with like a really smoky eye. And then I'm gonna wipe my brush off again and go back in with that raw sienna color that we first used in the crease and go over that dark brown that we put at the lash line. This gives it more of that gradient where you go from dark to light, light to dark. Makes it look a little softer. Just blending. I'm the blending crazy person. My husband calls me the blending Nazi. I can't help it. And I have to admit it's very difficult to see what I'm doing being so far away from my mirror. And then part of my mirror being in your face. I'm just going to go in with mascara. I don't wear liner day to day. It just depends on my mood. Um, I do have the LVL lash lift on my eyelashes, so I am not curling my eyelashes. Um, but if I didn't have the lash lift done where it already has my eyelashes curled up, then I would always, always, always go in with an eyelash curler if you don't know how to use one practice. Not everybody needs one though. Some people have such crazy curly eyelashes that they really don't need it. Like it would make their eyelashes go back in towards the crease of their eye. I've seen girls like that. I'm jealous of girls like that. But and normally it takes me a little while for my mascara because my eye my lashes tend to like to want to stick together. It doesn't matter what mascara I use. Um, some of my favorites, Maybelline the Falsies, waterproof or non-waterproof. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, non-waterproof. I used to wear all waterproof mascaras to hold the curl in my lashes, but right now, like I said, with that lash lift procedure that I had done, um, I'm not wearing waterproof mascara because it can make the lashes fall sooner. So I need it to be a little more gentle on the lashes. A little bit on the bottom. Not everybody likes mascara on their bottom either. And nobody in the world has an attractive mascara face, I'm just gonna say. Why do we all make that face when we put mascara on our lower lash line? I don't know, but it's not cute. And then I always like to go in with a spoolie. I always keep like a mascara clean spoolie. You can get these at Sally's or Amazon or wherever. I always like to go through them and make sure that nothing's clumped up or sticking together or has too much mascara on one lash or the other. fan them out a little bit if need be. And that would be it. Um, like I said, there are multitudes of different ways to do an everyday eye. You can do just liner. You can do just one shadow in the crease. You can use just a bronzer in your crease. You can use lots of different things. And if you have any other um, particular suggestions of, of different tutorials that you guys want. All you have to do is holler at me, let me know. Um, this is just more of my version of an everyday eye and what I do for my eye shape. Um, I will be doing smoky eyes and things like that later on. Um, but like I said, with grandbabies in the other room, whatever, I that's more important. I was gonna do a quick everyday eye and be in and out of here. So um, I will um, catch you guys later. If you have any questions on products or anything beyond that, um, please let me know. and. Thank Thanks for hanging out. Bye, love you. Have a good day.